something. You don't even need sound. I might whenever you do something. All the lovers in the room. Let's slow it down one time. <laughs> Baby got back. <laughs> oh my God. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B. In today's video, I'm showing you how I apply this temporary hair color. I purchased some colors from a brand called Gemini Naturals. It is a black woman-owned brand. The owner's name is Leanne. She has a number of colors available on her website, but I purchased two of them. The colors that I purchased are Cranberry and Sunset. So this is the color Cranberry. And then this is the color Sunset. I bought these two because I felt like they would pair very well together with the red and the orange. I do have a video where I applied temporary hair color to my hair before. I'll post it right here up in the cards. But I did just want to point out the differences between the two types of color. The colors that I used before were from a different brand and they were actually a temporary hair color cream. So it was like a very creamy consistency. Whereas these ones are a vegan temporary color gel. So I feel like it will be really good for me to use while I'm styling my hair. So for the last couple of days, I have just had my hair in four twists to help stretch it out because I wanted to do a twist out on stretched hair, but I didn't feel like blow drying my hair. So if you ever want to stretch out your hair without using heat, this is a great way to do so. You can see how nice and stretched my twists are. I also felt like this would be the perfect opportunity to do something different to my hair other than a protective style. If you've been keeping up with my protective style slash length retention growth challenge, if you haven't, I'll post a playlist up here. I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and allow myself to do whatever I want to my hair like once maybe every five four to five weeks so I've been having my hair in protective styles for like the last month and some change and I just wanted to switch it up a bit so I don't get you know overwhelmed or just tired of doing protective styles so this week I am going to be doing this twist out and my hair is pretty much already parted the way that I want it to be however I'm just gonna straighten up this middle part a little bit when I installed these twists, I did add product to it, so I added the Unicurl Moisturizer. I don't want to add any extra product to my hair because I want to make sure that the hair gel works as it should. So instead, I'm just going to apply a little bit of this leave-in detangler spray because it does say that you're supposed to rake and smooth the product on damp hair from ends to roots, and then you can diffuse or air dry it. And I'm actually thinking that I want to do three strand twists. I haven't done a three strand twist out in so long and I'm low key like missing that style. So that's the style that I'm going to do instead of just regular two strands. So I'm just going to start out by spraying my hair with the detangler spray just to get my hair damp, not soaking wet. And then I'm going to take my tangle teaser just to work that product all through my strands. I'm trying to decide if I want to attempt to try to do like an ombre type effect so go from like the orange into the red or something like that not quite sure so I'm gonna just I guess figure it out as I go this is the consistency of the gel so I'm gonna just start with a little bit of it and apply it to my hair So, so far it's applying very nicely and it actually appears to be showing up pretty nicely as well. These products don't really have too much of a scent, so I do like that. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the red to my ends. I do have a few three strand twist tutorials here on my channel. If you wanna see them, definitely be sure to check out the twist outs, braid outs, bantu knot outs playlist and I'll be sure to post that up in the cards. For easy access but if you want to know how to do three strand twists i definitely recommend that you go check out that playlist also on my instagram channel i did a video on igtv that you can find by going to my profile at so dazzling where i do a three strand twist tutorial as well the gel is a little messy on my hands but that's okay i'm pretty sure it will wash right off but this is what the first twist looks like I think I am going to use a little bit more orange because I can't really tell if it's going to show up very well on this strand. So I am going to use just a little bit more orange this time.
a trick I always do whenever I'm doing a twist out, three strand twist out, whatever, is put a twist right here in the center of my hair. That way, whenever I am taking my hair down, like separating everything, my hair falls very nicely. It really helps to cover any harsh lines that may be in the back. Like right now, you can see how there's kind of a line that goes straight down the middle. But whenever I take this down, you won't be able to see that line. This product does such a good job with defining my curls. Like it just has my curls popping. I think next time I am going to try to see how this works for me for a wash and go. So maybe for my next style on my free week, I'll do a wash and go and use these colors. Like look at that. Look at how my hair just coiled up after twirling it around my finger. Now that I have finished installing all of my three strand twists, I do want to show you all how much of the product I ended up using. I did use more of the orange than I did the red. I barely touched cranberry while sunset I already like kind of have hit the bottom of the container but I think whenever I do it the next time I'll reverse the order in which I apply the hair and I think it'll be fine because I do feel like I can get another usage out of sunset but it just has to be used more sparingly <laughs> so since I use cranberry only on the ends of my hair for these twists obviously I didn't end up using as much I really like that this hair gel has ingredients that I can actually pronounce. The first ingredient is aloe vera juice. It also has vegetable glycerin, water, panthenol, wheat germ oil, avocado oil, castor oil, xanthan gum, silver dihydrogen citrate, citric acid, fragrance, mica, and iron oxide. In addition to the hair gels, she does offer like a curl awaken primer, which is something that you're supposed to put on your hair before you apply the hair gel. But like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't have that primer, so I just use my detangling leave-in. So I'm going to just hope for the best that my hair comes out okay. It does say that you can diffuse or air dry, so I'm going to go ahead and let it air dry overnight, and then I'll come back in the morning for a takedown. Okay, y'all, it is the next morning, so I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down now. My hair is definitely 100% dry. Because the hair color is a gel, my hair does kind of have like a slight, um, not really crunch, but there's just a nice hold to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of hair oil into my hands, not too much because I don't know if the oil is going to cause the color to transfer or not. I figure my best bet would be to put a towel around my neck because I don't know if this is gonna flake or transfer and I don't wanna get it on my white shirt. But very gently, I'm going to just unravel my hair. The definition is definitely there. So this is definitely flaking. I highly recommend that you wear a shirt that's not the shirt you plan on wearing whenever you take your hair down. Cause I just look down at my pants and I see that it is pretty flaky. I do feel like if I were to use this on my hair, like for a wash and go, I probably wouldn't have this problem because I wouldn't be manipulating my hair in this way. And it could also be the oil. So there's a number of reasons as to why it's flaking right now. I can definitely see the color though. And I think it looks super pretty. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and separate and fluff my hair. So it did transfer a little bit to my hands and like I said I have a ton of flakes on my clothes but earlier I did like wipe it a little bit with this towel like not wipe it like rub it but just like flicked it off and it came off pretty easy so that's really good. Now I'm just going to go in with my pick and fluff it up just a bit. This is how my hair is looking after fluffing and honestly you guys, I think it looks pretty good. I really like this color. I don't know if I would do this color as a permanent color, but it definitely has me wanting to dabble in hair dye again. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to wait until I can get to a professional so that they can do it, but I definitely like different colors against my skin tone. And I actually feel like this reddish color looks pretty good. But yeah, y'all, let me know what you're thinking about 
this hair color i feel like it looks really good on my hair especially because i still have some of the light color from when i previously had my hair colored on the ends so it kind of just like added a little extra something something and i'm really liking that little something something the good thing is that it does not appear to be staining my clothes, which is great considering I got on this white shirt. It's actually wiping off very easily. I'm definitely gonna have to sweep the floor though because I have little specks of hair gel everywhere. However, that's something that I can definitely look past because I feel like the color payoff was really great. I really like the amount of product that I got for the amount I paid. I think I got it on sale, so I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. But I think if I order again, I would definitely get the Curl Awaken Primer because I feel like that may help with keeping the color in place. If you have tried anything from Gemini Naturals and there's a color that you really, really love, let me know what it is down in the comment section. I would absolutely love to know. Also, let me know if you have ever tried a temporary hair color in general, and if there's a different brand that you have tried, I would love to know that as well. And with that being said, I will go ahead and cut this off because I'm going to keep talking and I don't want to, you know, hold you too much longer. So I will see you in the next video and do not forget to stay dazzling.